Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to League of Angels with Worst FN Gamer. Since we last met, guys, I was talking about some of the newer heroes. We talked about Teresa. We talked about Victoria here. You know, the best defensive hero. But now there's a whole new spotlight for the newest hero just dropped in the game, guys. And I'm really, really excited to show you guys her. As you can already tell, there she is right now. I put her on my team. I've started leveling up already. And it's none other than the Wind Dancer. Oh my god. Freaking God, this chick is amazing. Shake your body like a belly dancer. She will slice you up and cut you out. Unbelievably good, man. So let's begin with a little background on the Wind Dancer, guys. A uh, little hero introduction, if you get my drift. So let's take a look. This princess from the ancient Eastern Kingdom learned martial arts under Zen Guardian. What? That guy? And was his most talented student. She was naturally gifted and quickly rose to the top, becoming the youngest sword master in the history of her kingdom. She wields her uh, mirage blade like the wind itself, and her techniques are like an eloquent dance of shadows. She has come to hone her blade against the best fighters Elysium has to offer. Holy moly! That's pretty cool, man. So she was trained by Zen Guardian and now the student has become the master because this chick is a mythical hero guys. And if you don't know what a mythical hero is, well I'm gonna show you. So there's only three myth mythical heroes in the game right now. So we got Teresa, we got Wind Dancer and like I showed you guys before, we have Victoria. She is mythical as well. Uh, the next lower tier from mythical is Legendaries, which are your Alrodil. <laughs> I can't even say his name still. The Light Envy. And then you also have um, Earthshaker, Michaela. Those are the next ones. And then underneath that, you have your you have your Epic, you know, which is a lot of different heroes in, in Epic. And then underneath Epic is the purple ones, which are just rare. All right, so that's kind of the tiers work. So let's get back right into it, guys. So she's one of the latest, you know, mythical heroes to drop in the game. And she's also an attack hero, alright? So she's just like Teresa. So Wind Dancer, two attack heroes, mythical, and you have one defensive, alright? You don't have any support and there's none in control just yet. So you kind of got to make a choice, guys. Whether you're going to go with Teresa or you're going to go with the Wind Dancer as your attacker. Uh, now, as you know, I've had Teresa pretty much from the beginning now and I love her. She's incredible. And I'm also going to work on Wind Dancer as well. But it's so hard to make a decision on which one you really should go with, man. Uh, I'm going to make a case for Wind Dancer right now. So let's go ahead. Let's begin the spotlight for Wind Dancer, guys. Let's get into her abilities really quickly. And then we can assess as to how good, you know, she can really become. Right now, as you can see, she's only plus seven. So everything that you do from now on, we're going to judge her a little bit less than my other heroes. Because as you can tell, Teresa is plus 10 so she's a lot higher so we'll compare it to Teresa, but three levels below all right so let's begin with the ultimate guys her ultimate is incredible and it goes as such inflict 1000 damage on the target and increase critical damage by 30 percent for the entire battle Wow, that is pretty crazy, man. And don't forget, this can stack. So this is an insane ultimate. By far, it's the highest dealing ultimate in the game. Now, she will literally melt away enemies with the highest HP. It's incredible. She just does so much damage with this uh, ultimate, guys. And plus, not only does it deal a thousand damage on the target but it also increases critical damage for the rest of the battle and it can stack so using her ultimate twice in a battle it's pretty much game over any attack after that she gets a crit it's game over done deal and then don't forget when you're auto battling which you do in arena battles this will hit your mirror target so it'll only hit the target right in front of her all right so that's how you kind of position her depending on what your target uh your opponent is doing so you can whoever you want to take out first you kind of want to put her directly right across for them all right so that's the ultimate let's take a look at the rage skill rage skill inflict 360 damage on the target this attack has an extra 48 percent chance to crit wow so a really high chance of critting really good and then plus it inflicts 360 so pretty much two abilities two damage dealing abilities really cool and if you can check at the bottom there uh when she's plus seven you unlock you know bonus of 330 percent all the way up to 360 percent 
and then plus 9, you get even a higher percentage of damage, and then a plus 11, when you get her there, it's a crazy uh, high percentage damage, right? So a lot more damage done by this, the higher you can get her up, all right? So next one, special skill. If an attack crits, absorb 200 of the target's rage and increase your own crit damage by 25% for the entire battle. Oh my god! This is another crit bonus damage. Are you serious right now? So if an attack crits, you're gonna absorb 200 of their rage. That's already real. That's good right there. So for, for an epic hero, that's a whole ability in its own. But not only that, this one is going to increase your damage, your crit damage by 25% for the entire battle. So, that's pretty crazy, man. So, you got 25% here, and then you use your ultimate, which is another 30%, which can stack there. So, that is a total of 55% crit damage if this girl crits. So, once she crits, game over, dude. Wow. That's insane. And then, let's take a look at our last and final ability here. This is a passive ability. So this one will unlock as you unlock her equipment, her sword. Right now, I have her at level 2. So at level 2, crit damage plus another 24%. Oh my god. So where were we at? 30% plus 25, which is a total of 55, plus another 24. That's close to like 80% of just crit damage. Jesus Christ. And at its final peak, if you get her all the way up you know, to level 6, Crit damage, 60, I mean, 56%. Wow. That is freaking crazy, guys. Unbelievable. Now, not only that, so that's her abilities right there quickly, but not only are her abilities sick, so a lot of damage, all abilities, damage dealing, but take a look at her HP, all right? Her HP right now is a plus 7. It's, um, what is that? 1.4 million. That's incredible right there for an attacker. You know, attackers don't really have that much HP. So right there is a lot. Now let's compare it to our girl Teresa, which I compare everything to because she's my maxed out hero. Her HP is 2.3 million at plus 10. So I'm pretty sure that when I can get, if I can get Wind Dancer all the way up to as maxed out as my Teresa is, this girl will have a lot more HP and more attack than Teresa, which is crazy to say because I thought nobody's ever going to pass Teresa. You know, a mythical hero like Teresa is already incredible. But this girl might just surpass her in all assets. Wow, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless as to how good this girl really is, right? So really quickly, uh, take a look at her um, items right now. This is what I'm working with right now. Plus two, or sword, plus two, plus two all around. At orange plus two, which is pretty, you know, good enough. Um, Magic stones, not that high up just yet. 44 and 46. Her protected uh, Magic stone is crit, crit damage. And then I went with uh, damage increase, you know, and a da attack bonus. So just more damage on her. And for treasures, I gave her a legendary, what is this one? The royal crown. Royal crown increases her own attack, defense, and HP by 7% after she enters the battle. So all around, I feel like she's a great all-around hero. Great HP, a lot of attacking. So maybe defense is not as high, but that doesn't really matter. I just need her to just destroy everybody in her path, all right? So let's go right into it, guys. Let's just take her into a battle and see what she does in action. All right, guys. So here we are in a campaign battle. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this auto-fight so you guys can see how this works out. So there's our ultimate right there. <laughs> Complete destruction, I'm telling you, her ultimate is insane. I have not seen many heroes that are able to withstand her ultimate out front and just still live after it. Or if they do, it's going to be like with nothing at all. Wow. So, this just makes camping battles that much easier now. It's If I don't auto fight this, if I just do this myself and I use her ultimate, there's her second ability there, the rage ability. There's her ultimate again. Let's go use it on him. Watch this. Let's see what's going to happen. Whoop. Dead meat. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, that ultimate is insane, guys. In freaking insane. This is going to make campaign battles a hell of a lot easier for me right now because they get a little bit harder as you progress through the campaign. But with Teresa and the Wind Dancer, I look at this. Another one. Yeah, destruction. Crazy, crazy destruction. So field test number one, campaign battles. And look at this. Obviously, she was the best you know, uh, damage dealer in that battle. Let's check out some battle results here. 16 million from her. 
Not even a million for Teresa, which is insane, but I only used her ultimate either way, but still, my god, dude. Very impressive, guys, to say the least. So let's go to field test, maybe number two. All right, guys, so this is the real challenge right here, right? This is the server duel, you know, that happens every single day. And uh, I'm the champion. I won today, as you can see. So let's take a look at how I did it. You know, what was the setups that I used? And obviously, I used my Wind Dancer, one of them. So my first A-team, I actually barely pulled it out. Oh, my God. Four to six. I only won by measly one hero, which was Teresa. She survived, as you can see there. But... Wow, let's take a look at what happened to B team and B team incredible. The B team is the only reason why I even won this battle. 9 to 0, which means I destroyed everybody. He didn't destroy anyone on Mars. So let's go ahead, let's play the battle, replay this and see how she did here. Wow. So let's see. First off, I had her I think I had her ultimate going first. Teresa goes first. Now don't forget guys, my team is the one with the wind dance, right? Oh my god, she just literally destroyed Draconia in one ultimate. And you guys already know Draconia is a beast of a defensive hero. <laughs> and not to forget, she's only at plus 7, guys. And the heroes, I mean, the people that I'm facing right now are obviously plus 10, plus 11. At least plus 11 at this point now. Wow, dude, that is insane. Yeah, she is... She's phenomenal. I hate to just drool over this whole freaking video right now, guys. I apologize for drooling like a man whore. But damn, I can't help but drool. She's really, really good, man. All right, here we go. Eldril with his nice little ultimate there. Didn't do nothing. And I'm pretty sure she's the only reason why I even win this, right? Yep. There she goes. Crazy, dude. Crazy battle log. Let's see what the damage was here. So, his Teresa did 3 million. She did 7, almost 8 million. <laughs> wow. And there it is, guys. So, that's how you do it. That's how you become the champion of the server duel with your Wind Dancer right there. So, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Let's just go ahead, guys. Final, take a look at her. I mean, there's really not much more I need to say. You guys already know what I feel about her now. She's slowly... Um, becoming my favorite hero in the game. Right now, she is my favorite hero. I love using her. Her ultimate is insane. Crit, 60%. What? All right, let me take a look at this. So, her attack right now is at 374,000. Let me compare it to Teresa really quickly here. So, Teresa is 728,000. So, Teresa has more than double her attack. But she still ends up doing way more damage in a lot of the fights. Only because of her crit. 60% crit. What is Teresa at? She's at 107. Still. That's insane. So all stats Teresa's got going for her. But she still does a lot more damage. And a lot of battles here. I don't know guys. So uh, that's pretty much it for the Wind Dancer. I hope you guys enjoy that. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. The Wind Dancer is amazing. I cannot wait you know, to get this girl even higher up. Because she's phenomenal. So if you guys plan on getting her man. Do so. Believe me. You're not going to regret it. One of the best heroes in the game. Possibly the best hero right now in the game. Alright. So that's about it guys. I'm going to end it off here. I will catch you guys next time on another League of Angels with the worst effing gamer. I'll see you next time. Peace out.